A motion to reappoint Dell Livingston and Tim Nath to the Planning Commission for four year terms to expire Monday, January 8th, 2024. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. Need a motion to reappoint Paul Sangia to the Civil Service Commission for a six year term to expire Monday, January 6th, 2026. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 
Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. We're going to table that uh, third motion. Uh, need a motion to reappoint Richard Michael Owens and uh, Elizabeth Mansfield to the parking authority for a five year term to expire Monday, January 6th, 2025. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I uh, need a motion to accept the resignation of Nino Fecatelli Sr. to the Planning Commission effective December 31st, 2019. So moved. Second. Second. Uh, I'll second. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> I need a motion to appoint Michael Fulmer to the Planning Commission effective January 6th, 2020 to expire January 8th, 2020. I so move. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Welcome back, Mike. <laughs> 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 We're going to table that seven point as well. Um, need a motion to appoint Thomas McDermott, Gaines, to Sherry, and Nicholas, PC, as the borough legal consultants for the calendar year 2020. <laughs> a second? PJ first. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Your motion to appoint Kevin Britt, or Brett uh, Lennon Smith to Lure Engineering Incorporated as the borough consulting engineers for the calendar year 2020. I shall move, but he's not here. <laughs> I'm going to get a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just got this Joke, joke uh, second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, first up, uh, Bob Fryer. I, I just rather stay here and <coughs> comment. Congratulations to all you guys, and I hope that uh, this year we can all together work to solve the community's uh, traffic congestion and parking. It's a problem that's going to come down to such a direct, it will have such a direct effect on reducing the tax burden on the families. And congratulations again. Thanks, Mark. Rick Jones. Thank you. Is that the first city way? I think it's set up. Oh, yeah. Sure. Okay. <coughs> Hi, my name is Greg Jones. Um, I'm officially here on behalf of the One Music Fest. I do attend First Baptist Church in Bridgeville, and just wanted to let it be known about the Martin Luther King celebration that's being held at First United Methodist Church here in Bridgeville on January 20th, 6 to 8.30 p.m. Similar to the awesome time we had last year, uh, we will be featuring a retrospective on Martin Luther King, in, in particular the I Have a Dream speech. Uh, this year we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to feature a recitation of the speech featuring youth from the surrounding area churches. So we have youth participating from Bethany, First Baptist Church, uh, Solid Rock here in Bridgeville, Bower Hill Community Church, um, hopefully First United Methodist Church, um, and hopefully Corpus Christi only known as Holy Child. Um, in addition to the recitation, we'll have music, uh, we'll have a light sermon and a light repast after the event. So it was a great time. Thank you all to everyone who attended and who came out last year, both on the um, little council and those who may be in attendance today. And we are looking forward to seeing your participation this year. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Justin Thomas. Um, I'm here to talk about traffic, on or the speed of traffic on Dewey Avenue. Um, unfortunately, Christmas Eve, uh, a drunk driver struck a parked vehicle on the corner of Dewey and Station, driving carelessly. But it reminded me of you sit on Dewey Avenue, you watch cars drive by. I'm, I don't have a calibrated eye, but I can tell you it's going faster. 
Um, since I've lived there in the last seven years, numerous fixed objects have been struck, either due to incompetence, distraction, speed, carelessness, including the same telephone pole twice that's nowhere near either bend. I don't know how that's possible. Chief, I don't know how many. I think both of those were DUIs. Also. Both were DUIs. And, and the number of parked cars that park uh, you know, southbound on Dewey, um, between station and bank. If you're coming from station, okay, make the right. Right. And the cars will park on the right side, mm -hmm. make the country style. Um, I, I, we've lost count. And we're lucky that it's all fixed objects and not human beings. The car that was struck on Christmas Eve, that, that guy has a, a wife and kids. They get in and out of that car in that corner at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, and so my proposal is a stop sign because there's no way you can you can capture that, can you? I mean, they they let you have radar on that. Coming from which direction? We do have one coming down, Dewey, from starts here. Come down bank, right turn keeps moving, we'll stop it, we turn left. Yeah. What I'm saying is remove that right turn exception because um, Mike Aquilina, I've seen his, I mean, watching him try to back out of his driveway is a miracle. <laughs> um, yeah, and he's trying to get out of the driveway, and nobody's going 25. So my proposal is stop signs on both corners. Resident Suffolk St. Clair can wait a little bit longer before they speak for our town. I mean, that's just, I believe it's a, yeah. So, I mean, and, and, I, mean it's, I know it's a problem distracting driving, but nobody can fix it. You know, unless you can disable all cell phones, all cars are motion out. But is there a possibility to get soft? Yeah, is it a traffic study? Or? Well, what I'd recommend is that uh, we're reorganizing our committees right now. And uh, once we have our uh, funding statement committee, I'd like them to, to take a look at that. Consider the options that you suggested, board with the chief as well, and, and come up with the best solution. I know that we've always tried to keep traffic moving there, uh, but not at the sake of public safety. Yeah. So, uh, so it would be a planning commission. It's a public safety. Okay, well, public safety. Yeah. What, what might they? Well, we're, we're reorganizing our committees right now, and, and you know, within this next month, we should have a committee <coughs> together, and uh, you know, so we'll have some more to uh, talk yeah. to you about the next meeting or so. Excuse me, but I have to agree with him. I've complained about it for two, three, four, five years. Um, when they double park on, on, on both sides of Dewey, and if there was an accident, I don't know. It, it, that's, that whole thing needs to be studied. Thank you. Or Thank you, sir. Since that's a state road, do we have to get the state involved in that too? Yes. The state would have to get involved because they're coming off the state road. So bank is a station of state, and that that section of Dewey is state between bank and station. The section of Dewey is in state, but the section of bank and station are both state. Okay. Yeah. You know, we in the intersection when they come down <coughs> bank and want to make a left onto Dewey, and they're parked on both sides of Dewey Avenue. We can request a traffic study, but mm -hmm. since there's yeah, state road, that's the state has to be involved. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate it, Don. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, uh, on the regular business, uh, I need a motion to approve the December 9th, 2019 public hearing and December 9th, 2019 regular meeting minutes as submitted. So moved. Bruce, and seconded by Nino. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Motion to approve the December 2019 final bill list and the January 2020 bill list. I'll move. Joe? Second. And Nino. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. Need a motion to approve the January 10th, 17th, 24th, and 31st, and the February 7th, 2020 payrolls. So moved. Second. Bruce and uh, Joe Cosmo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. <coughs> motion passes. Need a motion to approve the request for partial payment number two in the amount of $10,503 and partial payment number three in the amount of $12,461.40. From select contracting LLC for payment to be made by the Sharp West Council of Governments for work completed to date. That's it, Lou. Nino. Second. And second by Bruce. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. 
get a motion to approve the request for middle of partial payment number one, backflow presenter contract phase two towards Osiris Enterprises Incorporated in the amount of $78,873.75 for work completed to date. Uh, the under remarks, the estimate has been reviewed and approved by Engineer Brown. So moved. Bruce? Second. And BJ? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> motion passed. Need a motion to approve the following real estate tax refunds due to changes in assessments as requested by the real estate tax collector. Copies of the official change orders have been attached to the request. Uh, under remarks, a check has been issued out of the 2019 <coughs> budget included in the 2019 final bill. Uh, for years 2015 through 2019, under lot block 255-M-231, $5,213.55. And for the same dates under lot and block 255-M-231 for $902.08 for a total of $6,115.63 to Gary Villani, 770 Byron Hill Road, Bridgeville, PA, 15017. Motion? So moved. Bruce? All set. And Joe? All in favor? Opposed? Motion passed. <coughs> Need a motion to accept and pay any commission due to the December 2019 <coughs> real estate tax collector report. I'll move. Second. Second by Nino. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Need a motion to accept the November 2019 treasurer's report. I'll move. Joe. No. Second. And Bruce. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> motion passes. Need a motion to accept the January 2020 zoning report. So moved. Joe Velasquez. All in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. Committee reports. We'll go through them as they were and see if there's any reports from the uh, administration. Well, I think I have is thanks to Lori. She's back on this full time now. And, uh, really looking forward to this coming year getting things straightened out with, uh, with Cheryl. Well, thank you. Finance. Uh, nothing to really report. Uh, we had a, a surplus for the year because Larry uh, had a thing built. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, definitely once the finance committee is uh, formed, I think there definitely needs to be a meeting to uh, start planning for the 2020 ASAP. So that's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Parks and Recreation. Uh, I feel short. Uh, restroom down at uh, McLaughlin. Mm -hmm. Practically about seven points just more and just the locks on the doors. Uh, this year coming up, we're going to have to be doing some more work down on uh, Glossop Park. I just wanted to run through this real quick what we're going to be doing down there. Uh, so the, the big item is the parking lot and the cult. I'm just putting in a cul de sac turn around at the end of the parking lot. Uh, there was plans for two pavilions, one down by the ball field, another one by the parking lot. We're definitely going to put the one on the baseball field, probably on hold. I don't know what we're going to do down there. Sorry, throw it in the field. Uh, skate park equipment, uh, we're adding some new equipment to that. Uh, skate planning and whatnot. Um, also, down by the uh, entrance to the park, we're going to put a uh, new entrance right in because some individuals go through the wall down there. It needs may make a little nicer down there for the work that's going to be done there. So I think it's all going to be done by the end of the year. So hopefully we'll get done. And Lori, if with that's the it. wall field, um, when that's reconstructed to go through with what we're planning, I think we should maybe look at seeing about maybe moving it. Turning it off or turning it around. Turning it around or turning it around or moving it mm -hmm. over. Yeah, I've, I've, make the field bigger or, uh, I've talked to a few people about that, and, and they've all said to me it needs to be in the office. So, so you can have to take a look. You know, I have a remark on that. Um, uh, if you're talking about to lower the ballpark, uh, right? To lower the distance. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I can't see where that uh, 
quarter of a mile, an eighth of a mile. I would like to really know the depth, the length, and the width. How much water really that's going to sink? I'm sure the engineer could value that volume of the water. I mean, if we save very little water, what's the use of doing all that? But we got a grant for it. I don't know how we can distribute that. I, in my opinion, I mean, I'm not a sport person, but I can't see how much, how much that's going to be low. But then again, we know the land. I'm working on that right now, actually. I'm good. But you know what I'm coming from. But the reason, the primary reason for lowering it is to create an area to capture my own water for debris. And the debris is a key thing. You put in the structure and stream to capture stuff coming down streams that doesn't get caught up in the network like the culverts and the bridges. So that's the primary purpose of this, is to capture that debris, get it from the go. The, the, the debris capture will actually reflect <coughs> the debris into that area and let it settle out. And once the water is received, public water can come and remove that stuff instead of having to try to unwedge it from underneath it, bridge or culvert. But we are we're working on it right now, actually, to determine exactly what the, the water is. That's what I would like to know. The length of this construction, or, or remodeling, or whatever you want to call it, the width and the height. I mean, it, because we know how much it decreases for, for years and years, we know how much it decreases. It's been to the creek, okay? If it's insignificant, that this, if it's not enough room that we lower this, this ballpark, what is the, the reason to do it? You understand what I'm saying? Now, if this one's two mile long, even one mile long, I would say, you know, and maybe, Three, four foot deep, I can say, but well, it's it's it, it's a, agreeable. I think the key is the debris. The key, yeah, yeah. The, it's not the water, it's the debris. Okay. <coughs> but let us give that. I, I would appreciate if you, you as an engineer, can give us the, the full amount that they just captured. Thank you. Go ahead. Hey, Nina, if you're yeah. talking to baseball field, you know, like 400 feet by 400 feet, mm -hmm. and you drop it by 4 feet, you're talking five million, to 5 million gallons of water. Okay. That's a lot of water. <laughs> yes, it is. So, if it's worth it to do that. So, if they use uh, numbers, they are angry. Uh, can you report that? Not the dog, my because he's done his done his step yet. As soon as I finalize my model, I'll be able to. Yeah, I just want that on record. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Is that a joke? Is that all you have for questions? Yeah, yeah. Uh, public works. Well, it's from December, from now to let's report not my change. The uh, We're ready for the snow. We have a three track full of. Uh, Ice and, and everything, and the uh, uh, salt and everything else. So we're okay. And this will be the general uh, cleanup and so forth. Nothing uh, really exciting and big happen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, public safety, that was me. I'm going to pass that on. I'm going to pass on that uh, traffic complaint for somebody in town. <laughs> um, uh, I'm sure that you know, we had a, an incident on. It's an ongoing thing, I guess, between Chestnut and, and uh, Greg. I don't know if you've seen the social media stuff that's going around the town there or something. I think it's been reported finally under. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're just doing that again. We're just uh, beyond our jurisdiction right now. Yeah, okay. That's all I had, actually. Um, Mayor? Okay. This has been a very good year, very interesting year for me. I've officiated two weddings. And I tried to fulfill all the requests for proclamations that have come to me. And I had some speaking engagements. Great folks with the thoughtful um, comments from people in our community. And I pray everyone has a happy new year. Thank you. Thank you. Please shoot. Check. Thanks, Council President. Um, we had a show of y'all slash fringe slash Santa Claus event. That's all I have.
have a report next month. I'll have a more detailed report of last year's activity and bring it down. I will let you know that that's what we have. Thanks, Chief. Uh, Solicitor Tom McDermott. Um, thank you. First and foremost, I would like to thank Councilman May once again for the opportunity and privilege to serve this district. Um, you have my written report. Um, and, uh, No action would be required, so we can do it as it was. Okay, um, for all engineers, you tell me why. First, I would like to thank you for giving us the opportunity to speak to you. Thank you. Um, so, I'll have a copy of my engineer's report, just a couple of brief summary items. Um, 2020 road program, we're going to begin with um, the Road Works Committee to uh, identify the road we want to take in 2020. We'd like to get the bids out early so we get um, the bids open in March to get the best prices we can. Um, 2019 road program, we had to uh, um, postpone completion of that until the spring because of the weather change in November and the contract wasn't going to be able to meet the initial field requirements. So um, we extended that contract. Um, regarding the um, park project, I have a meeting scheduled with PT on January 21st to um, review the project and I will need to proceed. I was passed this week as one of the probably 35 different model scenarios to try to come up with the best, best <coughs> option for that to make sure we're as efficient as possible. Um, I pretty much got it narrowed down now and just have to finalize it. And then, uh, as was indicated, the, um, regarding the backup of the project, just a summary for everyone, we're about 50% complete. So that project will be um, going to finish here in the next few weeks. Okay, thank you. Uh, Fire Chief, Assistant Chief, Mike Mayer. Yeah, there's been a uh, Chief King said, please, uh, Buddy Neal, Santa, Grinch, uh, saying, yeah, uh, it turned out really great, kids loved it. Big surprise. Chad always had some other sleep. Uh, can't wait to see what makes you brings to those. Um, we had a pretty good year. I was at a close out of. Uh, Number of the next meeting, and um, there were a couple of different fundraisers this year coming up. We tried those different creative ideas out there, so pay attention to our board, contact uh, you know, Brian or Chief uh, Ray Carson this year, contact one of us if you need tickets or let you know any information on any of the events. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, Dan Miller's not here, and then no one else from the South Virginia last week. Visual Historical Society, Mary Wise. Thank you. I try not to cough on you or anything like that, but Happy New Year to you all, and I wish you all the very best in 2020. Thank you for your service. At the end of this month, the last Sunday of this month, at 1.30 p.m. over at the fire hall, is one of our speakers and it's a woman speaking about some kind of spying in Russia. And uh, I think it should be very interesting to people my age as well as 12-year-olds. And oh, here, thank you. Please be there. <clears throat> and then at the end of sun, uh, February, actually not, the end of February, Saturday the 29th of February, so we are meeting again on the 23rd, which is a Sunday. Years ago, I chose Sunday because I don't want to drive in snow and ice and whatever in the nighttime. Hopefully we'll have good weather. This time, <clears throat> Dr. Abeli, a retired Methodist minister who loves history, is going to talk about Mrs. Barbara Bush, a very complimentary report on her. And I think all of us would be interested in that program. Again, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. We also are raising money. I already give some of you tonight. We're selling raffle tickets, two penguin, uh, two penguin tickets, four chances on it to win. Uh, it's Saturday, the February 22nd, um, and it's a 1 o'clock in the afternoon game. 
And if you're interested to see me, I'll help you win. Maybe. I'll try. <laughs> uh, we also have a new book headed. We work with all the uh, historic societies in the area. And a couple years ago, they came out with a book about Tom Spring Road in Collier Township. They're coming out with a new one in April, and it's about the forgotten people of Collier Township. And that, if any of you know anything about coal mining uh, and the loss of everything at times, that's a very interesting book. And last but not least, we're spending a lot of our time with people coming in, donations. But in addition to that, we took the book about Bridgeville. We got to chapter three, and we are having very thorough studies done on all of the there were doctors and dentists and <coughs> farmers, and we're trying to get as much together about these people as we can. And please stop in and see what we do in our little museum down there. Thank you very, very much. Thanks, Mary. Uh, Bridgeville Library representative. We had our Christmas tree festival going through December 1st to the 14th. We all attended, very successful. We had 13 kinds of chocolate, wine chocolate, and that was all attended. We were trying to have it all. The 14th, we culminated with the Magic of Santa Claus. <clears throat> Excuse me. Currently, we're working on a project with the uh, Surfy Valley High School. They are currently their construction class built sheds. We need a shed, so we're going to coordinate with them as far as getting the shed constructed. And then I understand Hell Thomas delivers a free of charge, so they basically charge us just for the construction of materials. So that's going to be our lead project for the spring. Right. And upcoming, we have collections. Absolutely, go ahead. I'm also involved with the Lone Church and Watershed Association. They are having their year end meeting here in the Bridgeville Public Library January 15th from 6.45 to 8. The Lower Church and Watershed is basically the water the shed uh, comes from Boy Department St. Clair goes all the way down to Keep Rock. That's the Lower Church and Watershed. They're having their annual review meeting plus the goals and objectives for 2020 in the Bridgeville Library it's, uh, January 15th from 6.45 to 8. Anyone from the parking floor? Um, should we make sure that they come on certain days right in the next year? Uh, for example, they, they uh, change their parking to get fees from $7 to $10. So the public should know that. So, I mean, just things like that. I Yeah, I mean, I would agree that transparency and issues like that should occur. And, uh, you know, uh, put the invite out to them and make sure they get in there. I, I know a couple of years back when we did something with the quarterly yeah. meetings or something. We were taking time to file the Parking Authority one meeting, Planning Commission brought another meeting. We don't like that, so they didn't have to be there every meeting. So we just start doing something. And you hate to hold your hand and send them an email to the body. And they could be any. Right. We'll encourage you to do that. Uh, Planning Commission. Mike, what do you have? Do <laughs> 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 you know you have it? No. Uh, Borough Manager Lori Collins. I would like to provide my written report for your review if anyone has any questions or comments. And I just want to say um, congratulations to the newly re elected individual and also welcome to. Business. Yeah. Business. How about new business? Well, he's the chairman here. I don't know because you can get on there gold or new. But you all know the elected official that you receive an email from, uh, I believe it was from everybody, that uh, for Seventh Street, mm -hmm. it was put off, right? The yeah. business or yeah. I feel very strong, even though I'm financial. It's not that great, but we cut to get done, which is absolutely an educational uh, 
conference to attend. I mean, we the council people must have been together and because there are so many, so many different uh, projects over there, so many speakers. And I learned a lot of when we used to go. I learned a lot of things in public work. I spoke to many engineers. I spoke to Pandor and, and said, and said, and said, I think it's a, to evaluate that, and I'm directing this to the, <laughs> the Mr. Verducci, who is the financial. Uh, if I would like to put a motion, we, I could put a contingency on find the money because the the application must have been a, this month at the 23rd application. It could be canceled. Uh, so saying that, there was a formal motion for us to approve one of them, the seven student conference, to to we there about the financial situation as a contingency <coughs> of the motion. Just like to add to that, I mean, we used to go to these things years ago, and Deb was on council. She laid connections with somebody in the state, and that made so Thank you. Uh, grand stuff at uh, uh, Cook School Park up there. Started up. I'd say I, it's a very educational thing, and you can go up there and raise hell too, so you, you get a lot. But uh, nobody from Bridgeville, I don't know, but you see people up there. But it's very, very educational. The first evening, I just apparently I was put a presentation on that. That was on my YouTube from years ago, and that's the first time I saw cameras. They talked about putting cameras in the clear. And it's for Corinth, we worked up there all the time, and this camera that was dead, where the people were congregating there all the time, put the cameras in and it cleared up. And, uh, we learned a lot up there. And they got all kinds of different classes, different topics, but I think I wanted to bring something about keeping women going in politics or one of the main things, but they went to 20 classes and stuff. So. Then they have a legislative panel, like one of the legislators comes in. A number of times the governor shows up too, so yes. it's ever my feet. The governor will come. So it's very educational. It's so important. But it's educational. Anyway, so. it, it, it is. Thank you, John, that you really give them with it, a good detail of it. I appreciate that. Well, it is a motion on the floor. You mean second? Joe's second? Oh, you yeah, second. I'll be second. With, your, yeah. with your speech, it was the second. Thank you. The motion is. The the motion is to, <laughs> I don't like to break that down, um, to, no. it, to attend uh, the, the Allegheny League of Municipalities uh, Spring Conference, uh, provided we uh, find the, the, the resources to do so. Uh, and Joe's going to indicate that for us. Uh, well, another thing, too, I forget which one it is. There's two conferences. There's one in the spring and one in the fall. One, one's supposed to be better. I forget which one. Spring is the spring. Spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. spring one. Yeah, thank you. That's the one really, we cut it down a long time ago, only to one. Then we cut it down to both. <coughs> and, I, and I think it's very good. It's good because there are no things cut. But anyway, you say it all. Not so okay, so motion on the floor by Nino and the second by Joe. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Any other new business? I have uh, something. Uh, just a reminder on the council and uh, uh, Mayor, uh, the Jefferson Regional Foundation is putting out a, uh, a program talking about the census that's going to be happening this spring. Very important. Uh, their uh, presentation has been done around the area uh, in a few different places. It talks about how you can communicate with uh, your community to talk about getting a solid number on those numbers tie back to the money that the borough gets. So uh, uh, I guess I'll mention that Reverend Banks is sponsoring it, but uh, uh, it's a very, uh, uh, a coworker has seen the presentation before and we felt it was very important to get it out to the municipalities. So if you have the availability to go, I know Lori and myself, uh, a few years ago, uh, anyone else that is available, uh, please, uh, it's, it's 
only for an hour and a half or so at the, uh, the White Hall House, which is behind Slater Funeral Home in uh, North Brown, Missouri. Uh, but it's a very informational uh, speech. I've uh, seen some of the presentations uh, of it already. Uh, so if you have the ability, and if you know of any other municipalities, uh, pass the word. We tried to uh, get the word out to many people and there's plenty of room in this place that we have to do. Uh, I'm sorry, you got one of these. Yeah, and I'll the date is public. January, well, it's, it's only for um, municipality uh, council oh, yeah. and managers. And stuff. Uh, it is January 8th, this Wednesday at 9 a.m. And that's free, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah but that's, that's why uh, the, the program got a bank of money. Exactly. Huh? According to your email, they have to free, so we should definitely try to, to attend. If you can't come, I'll, I'll pass on the information. Thanks, <laughs> Anything else under new business? Can we adjourn before we uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. motion to adjourn? Motion adjourned and I read by Bruce. Second. Bill Bruce is second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed?